STS page immunoblotting and blocking solution prep. Having measured the dimensions of the gel portion to be used in immunoblotting, cut six rectangles of the filter paper provided and one of the nitrocellulose membrane to the same dimensions. The membrane is supplied between two blue paper sheets and should not be touched. Assemble the blotting sandwich on a clean, flat surface. Lay three sheets of filter paper down, wetting each with transfer buffer and rolling with a clean glass tube to remove air bubbles. Now add the nitrocellulose membrane and gently remove the two blue paper sheets. Ease the gel half off the plate and place the gel on the membrane being careful to match up the edges precisely. Add another sheet of filter paper, wet with transfer buffer, and again roll out any air bubbles. Add two more sheets of filter paper, again wetting and rolling each, and the immunoblot sandwich is now complete. Write your group number using a ballpoint pen in one corner of the membrane. Transfer the blotting sandwich to the Petri dish. Transfer the blotting sandwich to the immunoblotting chamber. Attach the top plate and connect to the power pack. Proteins will be transferred from the gel to the membrane at 120 milliamps over 45 minutes. Once immunoblotting is complete, the membrane will be transferred to a blocking solution. In preparation for this step, weigh out and prepare 25 ml of 5% skim milk powder in Tris buffered saline. by adding 1.25 grams of skim milk powder
to 25 mils of tris buffered saline and shaking well. 